Welcome to Tesla Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Today we'll be covering ArcGIS Pro, field calculator and text manipulation using Arcade. Let's get started. I have some sample census data that I wish to calculate a GeoID, as well as perform some other text manipulations. I'll be utilizing field calculators Arcade. If you're not familiar with Arcade, it's new to ArcGIS Pro. It's basically an expression language, but it's unique in its inclusion of feature and geometry data types. You can do things like calculate mathematical expressions, manipulate text like we will today, and even evaluate logical statements. Arcade can also support multi-statement expressions, variables, and even flow control statements. So where do we find Arcade? Well, we simply navigate to the geoprocessing tool for field calculator by either going to the analysis tab and selecting tools and then searching, or we could easily right click and select calculate field. From here, under my expression type, I would select Arcade. You'll notice that below, it'll change to just one larger code block where I can enter in my expression. If we look at some existing unemployment data that has a GOID, I can see that the US code along with the state and county are ahead of tracked followed by the block number. So I'd like to mimic this. To do so, I'd make sure that the field that I wish to calculate is selected in the field name dropdown. And then I'd start with something called concatenate. You may be familiar with concatenate from Excel, and using this expression feels much like it. I'm going to paste in some of my own code, but you could easily type it from here and enter in not only text, but also fields. So if we look at the code that I've pasted in, you can see that I'm starting with my text for the US, and then I'm comma separating my field. All fields will begin with that dollar sign and feature dot ahead of the field name when you're inside of Arcade. And this goes the same for label expressions. In addition to my state, I also have county, tract, and then you'll notice something here. I'm using a function labeled called write. And what that's going to do is it's going to look here in my block groups and take only the right character of my choosing. Since I've entered one, it's going to take the first character. Then I'm going to close that function with parentheses. And since I've completed my concatenate, I'll add one more parentheses, validate, and then run. And you'll see here, I've successfully created my GeoID. If we compare tract and block number, you can see the block number was chosen. In addition to stringing together text and fields, you can also separate them with special characters. I've pasted some code here as an example. And what I'd like to do is have state and then the value inside state separated by a comma, followed by tract and the tract value, and so on. We'll click validate and run. Notice now that my state as well as my tract are separated by a comma. I could change this here to be a different special character or even a phrase. Let's try a backslash. And you can see now that they're separated by a backslash. There are many times where you may already have text that you actually need to split. And that's where Arcade has a great feature using the split function. I'm going to paste some code. And you'll see here that using VAR, I can set any variable. I'm going to name mine new and then I'll use split. I'll be splitting my GeoID on the colons and then returning the value. Notice that I can manipulate how my value is going to return. I'd like it to say tract and then return the third value that follows the colon. Following that value, I'd like to add in the text BG number for block group number and then the fourth value. Click validate and run. Looking into the split column, you can see our text as long as values have shown up correctly. So let's recap. Utilizing field calculator and the arcade expression type, we're able to use built-in functions like concatenate to easily manipulate text. In addition, we can set our own variables and return in formats that would otherwise be a bit more complicated to create. I think this is a great stopping point. Please see our playlist for other videos on field calculator and code block. 
This has been Tessel Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bites. Thank you for watching, and please be sure to visit us at www.tessellations.us. Also, subscribe and ring that bell.